Hey Cancer, welcome to your monthly reading for January 2021. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. Uh, we're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the month. Uh, so keep in mind that they are general, so they're not going to resonate with everyone as well. Uh, you can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign uh, for some additional messages. Um, or if this one doesn't resonate, you can check those out too. Okay? So let's see where we go make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy these uh, messages it would be greatly appreciated we're gonna do a 10 card uh, Celtic cross spread for you guys okay so let's see what we've got we're also gonna pull some Oracle cards as well so let's see what do we have here for cancer January 2021 So your situation right now, we have the Five of Cups. The challenge is the Three of Wands. Your subconscious, we have the Ace of Wands. Your recent past, we have the Lovers. Uh, what's on your mind, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, the near future, we have the Queen of Wands. You in this situation is the Eight of Wands. Uh, what's surrounding you that you might not see is the Knight of Cups. Your hopes and fears, we have the Four of Cups. And then your outcome, we have the Ten of Cups. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. So let's grab a overall energy here for you guys. January 2021. What do we have here for Cancer? We'll get one card for you guys. January 2021. We have higher power, number four. So I feel like um, you're almost being like guided forward, I think. Like you might not necessarily know that, but I feel like that's what's happening here. So you've definitely, Ten of Swords um, in the overall energy. I feel like you're you're coming out of a tough time. Um, something may have ended for you or just like the end of a challenging cycle even for you as well. So it can just be just like general life as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship or anything. Some of you it is. Um, your current situation, we have the five of cups crossed by the three of wands. So the three of wands is like your challenge or your block. I feel like currently right now things are like you, you maybe have some regrets or you're upset or sad about how things did or did not work. Um, just of like how things happened. I feel like you're upset about it or there's like some some kind of like wallowing over what happened in the past a little bit. Um, and I feel like your challenge is the three of wands because it's like a little bit of a challenge to become or stay optimistic. Like I feel like there's, it's hard for you to see what's coming towards you because you're so focused on what's happened in the past here I feel. And I think it's related to this Ten of Swords energy. Um, so you're still kind of like processing that. Now, um, your subconscious or what's kind of beneath the surface here, we have the Ace of Wands. So I do see you wanting something new subconsciously, right? Like, um, I think you're actually making slow progress forward. I think you're going to be moving out of this Five of Cups energy. Um, in the past, we have the lovers, so there definitely could have been a partnership or um, a 
a relationship that came to a close here for some of you um, that is kind of why you're in this situation. Again, Knight of Pentacles is your conscious energy. So you're slowly coming out of this energy here. You're slowly moving forward. Um, you are making progress forward. And again, I feel like you're, you're being guided with this higher power energy here. It's like you kind of like, you know you need to move forward or you, um, you just know that it's the right thing to do. Um, in your near future, we have the Queen of Wands. So I see you coming out of this Five of Cups energy, looking very attractive, um, manifesting and creating anything that you are wanting to create. Like you're in a very powerful energy here. Um, and I think that it's going to be attracting people in towards you because we also have the Knight of Cups here surrounding you. Your energy is the Eight of Wands. So again, like I said, you're moving forward. Um, even though it's challenging for you, I do see you um, moving forward or wanting to move forward at least. Uh, Knight of Cups surrounding you, so this could be a person coming in towards you here. Uh, Four of Cups in your hopes and fears. So I feel like you're, you're wanting something new, but you're fearful that it's not going to be what you want. Again, there's still a little bit of that like focusing on those Three of Cups. So you might not be realizing what's around you if you stay in this energy of um, focusing on the past. But your outcome here is the 10 of cups. So again, this could be union with somebody or just being a lot happier in a relationship. So there could be a new relationship. For some of you, it's just happiness in general, just in your life, okay? So let's kind of clarify some of this. So let's see, what is this five of cups? Cause I wanna see kind of what it is that we're what is this Five of Cups here for Cancer? Five of Cups, what is that here? What is this Five of Cups? <laughs> the Five of Cups. Um, yeah, you're really, it's definitely where you are right now. You're very like stuck on it. But I do see you wanting to branch out with the Page of Pentacles, Six of Swords. We have the Hierophant uh, behind that. So it's like you're learning some sort of lesson um, that you're meant to learn, I feel. Or you're going through something that you're, you're meant to. What is this Three of Wands here in the challenge or the block for Cancer? Two of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Hierophant. Yeah, you're not able to see what's coming out in front of you. There's something about like, because you're in that Five of Cups energy and you're not gonna be in this the whole month. So first of all, don't be worried about that. <laughs> but I feel like you're not even able to, like the Two of Wands is putting the what it is out there that you want. Three of Wands is waiting for it to come back. So the receiving. So it's giving and receiving. Or um, in manifestation world, it's putting it all out there. And I feel like you're unable to even like do that right now. Because you're so focused on the past, you can't even manifest. You can't start the process of manifestation. With the Hierophant here... Um, I feel like you are learning some sort of like, this is a lesson... Um, so you kind of like, you could be like, I think your lesson is like coming out of this. So there's a little bit of like, you've learned a lesson from what has ended. And now it's like, you're needing to kind of come out of that. So we have the Empress, um, the Devil, the Tower. So there's some sort of like, there's something crumbling. There's something coming to a close here. Um, some of you could be consulting somebody as well, like a teacher or um, somebody that you're learning something from, like of how to manifest or how to get out of this Five of Cups energy. So you could be um, asking people for advice, that sort of thing. Let's see what this lovers is here so we have the ace of pentacles fly out on its own 
But we have the, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles as well fly out. Somebody, I think, like... Somebody might have offered you something new. There's something about, like, um, somebody leaving you out in the cold apologizing for that and, like, coming back around apologizing, maybe saying that they wanted to work on things here, they want to put the effort in now. And they maybe offered you this pentacle. We have the Queen of Wands again at the bottom. So there could have been somebody in the past that, um, I feel like they ghosted you originally and they came back around. Um, so let's kind of see, because I feel like you're, you maybe moved forward with this. What is this Knight of Pentacles here? Four of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, Judgment. With the Three of Pentacles. So you're not sure... You're hesitant to reconcile with this person. So I feel like there's kind of almost like there is an offer on the table. And you're not sure if you want to accept it. You might be wanting to um, be single instead. Like there, the Knight of, of Pentacles here is making me wonder like whether you really want to, whether it's really going to work between the two of you. Because we also have a Knight of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles. So not necessarily on the same wavelength here of like energy. Let's see what this Queen of Wands here is <clears throat> in your or near future here. What is the Queen of Wands in the near future here for Cap uh, Cancer? You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, we have Ace of Swords and Six of Wands. You're, get, you're having a lot of like success and recognition in something. You could be getting a lot of attention from new people as well, or like getting a lot of messages from people. Like I feel like you're looking very attractive. I don't know if you're in a relationship with this person. I don't know if you fully accepted this offer from this person. What is this Eight of Wands here for Cancer? What is this Eight of Wands in their energy for Cancer? We have Strength. So you're having the strength to move forward. Like I said, I don't know if you're with this person or I don't know if you're really accepting that. We have the Moon, the Ten of Swords, and the Page of Swords at the bottom. I feel like something, you learned something here about this person, and I think it's over now. You could just be thinking about the reconciliation, because I, I see it in your hopes and your fears. There's something about, like, you hoping you made the right decision. Um, but I feel like it's over now. Like, whatever was going on between you and this person I feel like they were kind of keeping things from you and I don't feel like the communication was that great what is this knight of cups in the surrounding energy so we have the sun tell me more about this knight of cups for cancer here the sun the lovers I feel like this is somebody new with the High Priestess in reverse and the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person, um, I feel like they make you very happy or they're a very happy, joyful person. Like they have a good energy about them. Almost like a little bit of innocent and fun. Um, but I feel like there's no secrets with this person. Like they leave it all on the table I feel like they maybe were hurt in the past with this three of swords. Like, they, they don't want any secrets between you and them. I feel like 
it's a new person. What is this High Priestess in reverse? What is this High Priestess in reverse? Okay, so you're not speaking. I feel like somebody's going to be coming forward here. This person, this Knight of Cups, whoever it is, we had the Four of Swords fall out on their own, but it was kind of on your side, so I don't really know if, like, you're speaking to this person currently. I feel like, so we have Page of Wands, Page of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Moon, the Death, and the Chariot. I think this person, like, wants to reveal everything. Like, they don't want to have any more secrets. This could be the person from the past. Um, it's almost like they wanted to come forward and maybe they didn't or like, I don't know, I feel like you're both thinking about each other. But I think there's a little bit of like, something came to an end here. And with the moon, the death and the chariot, it's like they want to end all of the secrets. They want to let those go. They want to reveal those. And I feel like they might be wanting to come towards you here. So maybe this person... I'm, yeah, I feel like they want to offer you something. I just don't know if they have. The Ten of Wands here. What is this Four of Cups for the hopes and fears? Queen of Swords. So you're trying to... I feel like you're waiting for this person or you're waiting, there's still something, you're still holding on to this past situation a little bit, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I also feel like you're trying to get some clarity on it, on the situation with the Four of Cups. You've spent a lot of time and invested a lot of time. What is the Ten of Cups here in the outcome for Cancer? Nine of Wands. Tell me more. Four of Wands, Two of Cups. Um, ten of Cups again at the bottom. So some of you are definitely going to be coming into union with somebody here. Some of you are taking your, your relationship to the next level. So if this person does come back around, some of you I feel like you're wanting this. It's like you've waited and you've struggled so long for this. You've put in so much effort to try and achieve this, right? But four of wands, two of cups, four, uh, ten of cups is definitely, did I say four of wands? Four of wands, two of cups, ten of cups, twice, is definitely like marriage, union. Um, some of you could be moving in together. Some of you could be getting proposed to. But some of you, it's just something more committed. Some of you, it's, it's, it's that some of you, this is what you're wanting. You're ready for this. Others of you, it's you moving on with this person, I feel. I don't know if this person, they're kind of just in your energy though. I think they're coming in. I can't really tell if it's going to be this month or not, but it could be. It's like now they want to offer you something, something solid. Now they want to offer you something more committed because I feel like they were... Like, things need to change. From the way that they were in the past, things need to change. Um, there can be just be a lot of regrets, I think. And I think there's a lot of regrets of how this situation played out in the past. On your side and their side. To your love message, we have individuality. So it says, you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. So I almost feel like... There's something here where, I almost feel like it's both sides, where there's something about this person that is so different, and I feel like they, they feel the same way about you in that regard. Uh, we have cause and effect at the bottom of the deck, so you are aware that love you, 
You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. So again, if you stay in that like five of cups energy, it'll, it's hard for you to manifest what it is that you want. So I feel like once you can kind of come out of that, this person might be able to kind of like come back around. All right. Some of you, it could be somebody new. Somebody who doesn't keep secrets. Um, but for some of you, because we have a couple of repeating cards here between you and this, like this new person and this last person that I feel like it could be the same, the same person. So I feel like just trust your intuition. You'll know. So any other messages here that we have for cancer? Any other messages here for cancer for January 2021? Okay, so we have the answers you need are coming. Prosperity lies ahead and have faith in your dreams. So... This will all come out when it's supposed to. This person will come forward when they're supposed to. Um, we have prosperity lies ahead. Have faith in your dreams. We have nothing will come of this situation at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like for some of you, this, this past situation, some of you, it is a new person. And it's somebody who did the opposite of what they did what other people have done to you in the past. For others of you, it's somebody returning and they're wanting to fully change this situation. Regardless, there's commitment here in the future, new or past, okay? So that is what I have for you guys. Um, yeah, hopefully that resonated for you guys. Let me know down in the comments below if it did resonate for you. I would love to know. And, um, yeah, uh, you can always check out your other readings if this doesn't, doesn't resonate for you. Um, but I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.